If life starts approximately a billion years ago, we will have to wait 400,000 years to see the aberration of the first nerve cells. This is where life as we know it begins. Brains in formation of only a few milligrams. It's not possible to determine any sign of intelligence yet. It acts more as a reflex. One neuron, you're alive. Two neurons, you're moving. And with movement, interesting things begin to happen. Animal life on Earth goes back millions of years. Yet most species only use three to five percent of its cerebral capacity. But it isn't until we reached human beings at the top of the animal chain that we finally see a species use more of its cerebral capacity. 10% may not seem like much, but it's a lot if we look at all we've done with it. Now let's discuss a special case. The only living being that uses its brain better than us, the dolphin. It is estimated that this incredible animal uses up to 20% of its cerebral capacity. In particular, this allows it to have an echolocation system that is more efficient than any sonar invented by mankind. But the dolphin did not invent the sonar, it developed it naturally. And this is the crucial part of our philosophical reflection we have today. Can we therefore conclude that humans are concerned more with having than being?